Hey coach, so excited you found us on YouTube. If you are new to the channel, my name is Coach Sam. I have been a coach for uh, six years and I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, we'll see you in just a moment. Hey coach, Coach Sam here from Underdog Hoops. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing the pyramid of success and we are on loyalty. So we're going to get started with that. Let me just share my screen with you guys and we'll get started. Okay, so loyalty. Well, what is loyalty um, and how, you know, can it affect us? So being loyal to yourself uh, and to all those depending on you keeping your self-respect. So this is Wooden's loyalty uh, and how he describes to how people should be loyal. Okay, so the dictionary definition is a little uh, different and it is a strong feeling or support or allegiance to someone. So this is a contrast to what Wooden's definition it, Wooden's definition is definitely more detailed, um, and I think it's a little better definition of what loyalty is um, than the dictionary definition, my opinion, whatever. Um, but before we continue, I really want to go over the Underdog Hoops 30 Game Stat Book. So if you've ever had to take stats, or if you've ever had a, um, a stat a pile of stats in your folder that you have like they're loose and you want to keep track of them throughout the year the 30 game stat book is for you so basically i made this to help me keep all my stats uh accurate and in one spot because i would lose one to two games three games uh of stats just from my, like in my folder, someone might step on it and rip it in half. Uh, a few other things may happen. It just happens, but that's why I wanted to create this uh, because it keeps all your stats in one spot, 30 games worth of stats, and it's only $9.99 on Amazon. So I'd encourage you guys to go check that out. There's also a 15 player stat book which the 30 game stat book has 12 players. Uh, so if you want the extra three players, that is also available on Amazon. So go check those out and we'll get started with the quote of the day. So John Wooden um, has a lot of good quotes and a lot of them are very um, motivational and, you know, they are, they're just very motivational. They want, um, they're inspiring to me, so that's why I put them in here. So uh, we'll get started with the first one. There's three of them in here. So, well, if you are, you're not true to yourself, you're not, you're going to be true to everyone else. So if you're true to yourself, you're gonna be true to everyone else. That means that you're true, um, you're treating yourself with respect. You're going to treat other people's other people with respect. That's a good thing. So you want to be true to yourself. You want to be true to other people. And then the second one, uh, it takes time to create excellence. If it could be done one uh, quickly, more people would do it. This has to go back to loyalty also, because if you look at it, we are in a commitment to time. So time is of the essence, but we need to make the most of this time that we have to get better as a player, get better as an athlete, uh, and coach, get better as a coach as well. And it's not gonna be done overnight. It's not gonna happen. Um, your success won't grow overnight. It'll, you know, be gradual. and from my understanding, it took John Wooden 10 years to win an NCAA championship. And that's 
takes time. It takes time to develop into a, you know, success. And I'm okay with that. Um, my players need to know that they're okay, that I'm okay with that. It's a process. It's going to take time. So the third one, I think you have to be what you are. Don't try to be somebody else. You have to be yourself at all times. So this one means that you have to be yourself. You don't want to emu or you don't want to uh, mimic someone else or um, you know completely um, copy someone else's style because your style is going to be different and you shouldn't have the same style as everyone else. Now my style can emulate some different coaches, some aspects that I've learned from other coaches to, uh, you know, coaches that I've been mentored by, coaches that, you know, I've never met, but I've read books about them. Or like John Wooden, I've emulated a lot of what John Wooden uh, speaks about. And, you know, that's why I wanted to go over the pyramid of success with you guys. All right, so what an on loyalty. So loyalty is a foundation quality that gets us through the hard times. So when you're in a hard time, you want to stay loyal, want to stay uh, committed to your obligation. Uh, and that's sometimes hard in today's society. And I know that, um, you know, I had a job that I didn't like. And when I was, you know, last year or so, and it, you know, I kept on looking for a different job. Uh, I'd worked there, you know, throughout my college career. And I ended up getting a better job. And that, you know, I've worked there four years. That's a lot of, that's loyalty to a company for four years. That's loyalty for, you know, that time to be you could have been somewhere else, you could have been doing something else, but you were loyal to that company. So that says something to, you know, about loyalty. Um, especially when you're in college, you kind of jump around in different jobs. Um, so you kind of get stuck in one. Um, you know, I wanted to move on, it was time for me to move on. Um, so no individual team or uh, individual or team will become great without loyalty. This is true. You cannot be good without uh, loyalty or commitment to other people. Um, you wanna have devotion and your duty is to be loyal to other people and loyal to yourself. So uh, another thing is you wanna be faithful in your loyal, loyalty uh, and you wanna be commitment, have the commitment to uh, withstand the loyalty. All right, so loyalty as a player, you know, you want to commit to your coach, even though your coach might not be right at the moment. Um, you want to be loyal to your coach. You want to be committed. You want to trust their process or the process. Uh, and then you want to be honest with them. So if you want to say something to your coach or you want to suggest something, ask him, just suggest it to him. The worst thing you can say is no. And you want to have, commit, commit that time in practice, commit that time after practice, before practice. You want to be committed to your duties. So uh, you want to prevent the letdowns. Um, you know, there's, you can have letdowns, you can, um, not shoot well one game and then shoot well the next game. So you don't want to have letdowns. You want to go out there and play to the best of your ability. Um, and that's all I would ask for as a coach. Just play, give me 110% effort. And, you know, I know you'll put, you've played hard. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad if you guys played hard. Now, if, there was a letdown on defense, didn't get back, there was little effort, then I'd be a little upset. But as long as you give 
your coach 110% effort, that is perfectly fine. So loyalty as a coach, it's uh, commitment to your athletes. So committing to your athletes and showing them that you are committed to them. Um, and one of my favorite quotes is from The Way Back. So it's when they're in a game, uh, game on the line kind of situation. Um, you know, they're, they, they're nervous and, um, and he gets it. So I'll just read the quote. They, you're nervous. I get it. Truth is, they're more talented than you. Probably got a better coach. But I promise you, they are not a better team. This shows loyalty to his athletes. This shows loyalty to uh, and a commitment to his athletes, you know, that he is not going to leave the team for another uh, job or another um, obligation. You know, he is committed to his team and committed to the long haul. So I like that quote. It's a very good quote. Um, from that movie, The Way Back, and actually played in that gym before, so that's a fun fact. Um, okay, and then the next one is show your athletes what loyalty is by committing to others and keeping their promise. Um, you want to keep their promise of commitments, and you want to show them, show your athletes that commitments matter. Commitments to uh, your team matter. Commitments to your family matter. But your family, your team is technically your family. Your family, um, you know, that's how we live by my in my program um, from the top down. It's we're family. No one's excluded. Everyone's involved. Let's get it done. So with that, um, you know, we have a few of them coming up, uh, cooperation, enthusiasm, ambition, self-control, and alertness. Those are the next five. So if you guys stay tuned for that, uh, I'll also be updating them on my blog so you guys can go check that out. And then if you guys are interested, stay tuned with us. Um, follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or the band app. And you guys will be updated whenever I post a video. Uh, and that's really it, guys. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And we'll see you guys on Wednesday.